Hi, this is Kathy from Scrappy Counselor Designs. And for the G Gina's Design Team, I'm here to show you a project. And I'm going to show you the project, which is this, this tag using Gina's Designs. But I'm going to show you how to create this. It, <coughs> it, this was a really fun project to do. I really had a great time creating. But what I did to start off with, because of my cramped conditions, I went, I used this um, folder from Tim Holtz. It is the Gears, um, his Gears um, embossing folder. So that's what I used, just a Plano um, tag, number eight um, tag that I cut out from the Tim Holtz die and this is what I came up with so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my yeah it looks like I'm oh there it is I can say I'm missing a couple colors but I'm not so what I'm going to do, I'm using Tim Holtz Distressed Ink, and the ones I'm using is Tumbled Glass, Warm Lipstick, Rusty Hinge, and Walnut, I'm sorry, this is um, Vintage Photo. That's quite okay. Walnut stain or vintage photo, any of the colors that you really like is going to work, so it's no big deal. But um, I'm doing this on my craft mat, and I'm just going to start out using horn lipstick, and I'm just going to kind of bring it into the um, project in several different places. It's really not no rhyme or reason to it. I usually try to start in the, on the outside and kind of work myself in, but right then I just wanted it right kind of in the center. So, and I'm going to do this with each one of my colors that I've chosen. This inspiration actually, this particular tag actually came from um, Tim Holtz, his new 13 tags of 2013. And that's kind of where the inspiration came from. I really had a, had a fun time. Um, I went to my friend yesterday and we decided to create the Tim Holtz tag and get it listed on his website. So that's kind of what we did. And while I was sitting there, I came up with this second tag using Gina's designs. And it has been so much fun to just to create various different. So there's no rhyme or reason to where I place the colors. It's just kind of like, where is it that whatever looks good to you? that's what it comes down to is whatever catches your eye yeah so once I've uh, gotten that done and I use the gears on this one I believe the Tim Holtz used the clock which makes the more lot sense considering the the little saying that we're going to use, but what I did is um, it's a really a very simple tag to do, and I really had a, a lot of fun playing with my UTs, um, which is the ultra thick emb embossing enamel, and um, the gears from Gina's. So. Um, with that being, so then I went ahead and I'm going to um, distress all the edges to my tag 
just using the vintage photo going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get started with the um, uh, embossing powders and the ones that I'm going to use that I used on this tag was um, bronze, black, gold, and platinum. So to get started, what I go ahead and I'm doing is on a sheet of paper, which you don't have to do, but because you can do it right on your craft mat. But the designs that I I used was a couple of dress forms from Genus, and this is one of my very favorite dress forms. Is this one? And so and then wings. And I think I only need one, unless I mess up. But I don't think so. Because, you, you know, I found out in creating things, there is no right or wrong. It's, it's just the fun of creating it. So I'm using Versamark. It's a watermark um, stamp pad. And I'm putting it all over the dress form and what I really like about the UT is that you can do several layers and it's absolutely gorgeous so I will put this into my little tray and I'm using the black on the dress form And I just kind of get that all over it. And then you just take your heat gun. And, and this is going to be kind of noisy. So, um, but it really um, goes fast. just change this color. to go ahead and I'm going to do another layer um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back on my paper just to do the um, Versamark again it back into my little tray and then I'm using a spoon so I can kind of use what's in the tray and it's just a little tiny spoon that I kind of keep around it's actually fun for tea
and I'm going to use my um, my tonic I call it the tonic stabber but it's a it's a piercer and I'm just going to try to keep that from moving around too much and then you just heat emboss it again very quick and basically I'm going to do this to um, all of the rest of the um, gears and this is what the dress form looks like it's very shiny very it's beautiful absolutely love the way the UT just pops right out it's been a lot of Fun creating with UT. Um, that's my phone trying to tell me I have a text. Um, anyway, that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that to all of the rest of the gears and I will be back. Okay, I am back to assemble the tag. This is the tag that I have and these are all of my parts that um, I'm going to be placing on the um, tag itself. So what we need to do is now it's just the uh, placing the the gears um, where you think you might want them and I did them in all different colors just so that um, nothing is alike and I'm going to actually put a hole in this one gear right here so I can put a brad um, through it Yeah, it's about um, where I live. There's snow on the ground, and it's about 22 degrees outside. It might be dropping now. That was actually in the middle of the day. And I just kind of play with them. There's, I have no rhyme, no reason to where I'm placing them. So once I've, um, these are the wings. Um, so I'll put this on the dress form like that so once I have kind of figured out where I'm going to place everything then I will go ahead and I will get it um, placed on there it's and I'm kind of just using score tape for the moment just to keep this kind of in place so it's easier to kind of see where I'd like to put things. Um, I'm going to put the gold one so there's a little bit dis um, color. So basically that's all I'm going to do now is to um, just place my my gears and all of these gears came from Gina's um, designs very lovely um, website you should check it out really has some really cool stuff I have a couple projects done that I need to get posted um, so you can see her 
so that's kind of um I don't like that under there only because the black doesn't kind of come through the black and then let's see here and then I'll put these two gears on with a thread as well and let's see and then the other thing that I'm going to do for this tag is I'm going to stamp um, a saying and, um, and I'm using archival ink missing an action. Silly on me. So you just cut it down to size. <laughs> and of course that had to move on me at the last minute. So I'm going to try to angle it a little bit on this side. I'm going to distress it on the edges. These are the um, itonic um, distressing tool hold on that was a phone call from my doctor so I had to take it sorry um it's not when they seem to always call is when you're busy <laughs> a um, Tim Holtz paper clip that I'm just going to attach to the top of my little tag. I used um, walnut ink around the saying so that's distressed and before I actually put on my gears and get them um, I'm going to use a little bit of um, Lindy's stamp game it's Starburst and it's called Blue Hawaiian Blue and I'm just going to um, spritz the tag oops a little more than I wanted but you know what that's quite alright looks great um, first time I've used it today so it's a new bottle so anyway so now comes the um, putting on the um, and I'm going to use my glossy accents to place the um, the gears I could put them on also with um, Brad oops I think I put that one in the wrong because I want it eat up under the wings which <laughs> it'll just dry not a big deal I 
having so much fun creating and this is going to go over to the side and I'm actually going to poke a hole in my which silly oh me it's my doctor again sorry hi I'm back this is Kathy from um trying to get back to my tag sorry the phone rang my doctor called anyway I kind of placed um the things on the tag um, I did add some Tim Holtz gears in a couple of places but all the rest are from Genius Designs and I really had um, fun playing with this tag I hope you all try um, something very similar or just get out and get your creative juices running it's just so much fun I'd like to thank you for stopping by and watching and this was one tag and here is another tag anyway thanks for stopping by and watching and have fun craft crafting bye